Hey Aries, welcome to Queen of Airbender of Tarot. Today we are going to do your January bonus reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So I don't know if you guys have peaked this already. I'm very excited about it. But I have a new deck. I ordered this a little bit after New Year. Um, I have been looking at it for a while. You guys know I have quite a few decks. But I always use the same deck. Because I have to deal with cards and decks that I, I feel drawn to energetically. And this was one of the decks that I happened to just immediately be drawn to. Um, this is the Modern Oracle Tarot by Desiree Palmer. I got it off of Etsy. And it's a very beautiful deck. The deck definitely drew me in. A lot of the um, symbolism and messages in it, I really dig it. And so, again, Modern Oracle Tarot by Desiree Palmer. I'm going to be using that today for your main energy deck. So I'm very excited. This is my first time using it here on the channel. So, you know, this is quite a crispy deck. So it's going to, the shuffling is going to be a little different here. But we're going to get to it. So... When I was meditating over you guys' energy areas, the song that I heard was All Because of You by Neo. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Mr. Neo happens to be a Libra, and it's so interesting. When I stopped your deck at the very bottom, you have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of you guys definitely have a strong Libra placement. Or you could be dealing with someone who's very significant that is a Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Also, it could be something involved in something that happened in Libra season. Libra season is September, October, so that would have been of 2022. It's like something that you put your heart and soul into, now it's getting ready to, pay, to pay out. And I want you to notice you got a heart right here, but in the background, this looks like a brain, but it also could look like a heart, if you will. So, whatever, whatever it was that you came up with, whatever it was you created, Ooh, thank you. That's what I'm getting. Whatever, whatever accomplished, because he's accomplished. He's sitting behind a desk. He's a king. Okay, male or female, put this where it applies for you. But as a king, this is someone who is a ruler, a leader, someone who is in a position of authority, hierarchy. And, and you're in this position all because of you. All because of choices you made, the decisions you made. Because again, I always say sort of yes, sort down, no. So choices and decisions that you've made with your education, you have a cap there. You know, a graduation cap and it's like stacks of books and you have that scroll there. All of your success is because of you. All the work that you put in. You are the brains behind this operation. Again, you put your heart and soul. You put your heart on the line also in a certain situation as well. The King of Swords, it seems like the Ice King. So this is someone, when it comes to matters of the heart, they don't like to show much emotion. If you look at his face, you don't, you know, he doesn't want to show how he feels and, and how, you know, Things are affecting him, but you, okay, you know what I'm getting? Also, this is someone who puts their work life, their schooling and things before love because they weren't very lucky in love. So they, they're using their success to overshadow the things that they weren't successful in. And I feel like with matters of the heart, something may not have been very successful. Right up under that, you have the will of fortune, but the will is turning in your favor, my dear. Again, I love this energy for you all. The will is turning in your favor. You got Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. Also, there's there's major transformation in your finances. Also, it took a while to get there because if you look at this path right here, you have one. Per yeah, see, somebody may be trying to play catch up with you. Also, you may have people in your life who who are a bit competitive. <clears throat> like for every single accomplishment you have, it's like they're trying to be ten steps or five steps closer, like right on your heels. If you notice, there's a person right here, and then there's one person going straight into that that new portal. I feel like that's you going into that new doorway of abundance. And you are a fire sign. You see the flames right there. Like this abundance, whatever you've been through, again, anything that you've manifested, it's all because of you. This is your creation. You, everything that you have accomplished, you didn't have handouts. This happened because it was meant to be. And I'm noticing here, you have certain um, animals on certain numbers. I'm just going to toss the, or certain images on certain numbers. And I'm going to toss those numbers out. And it's quite a few, but I'm going to toss it out there because it could resonate for some of you all. You do have 223, 
666, and 332. So I feel like what I'm getting with this, and I just say 445 and 111, okay? So again, I always tell you guys, when we get numbers, go ahead and look it up, Google those angel numbers. And because it was so many numbers, whatever numbers stood out to you, go ahead and look those up. Because there's a, there's, there's a message for it. I'm getting right here. because You see how the clock and this pinnacles right here. It's like time is ticking. Some of you guys didn't even be watching this video at work. Or you could be using this video or whatever messages you get from it. You can apply it to something with your work life, something with your money and finances, whatever the case. Because, see, he looks like he's at work also. He looks like he's at his desk. Some of you guys could literally be at work watching this or watching this leaving work or fresh when you get off work. Whatever the case, it just looks like Things are turning in your favor. They're working on your behalf. And a lot of people may not want to give you credit for it. They may think, look at him. He looks like he's playing just on bullshit. A lot of people may feel like, you know, things have just fallen in your lap. But you really worked hard for a lot of things that you, you have accomplished here. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and go through the deck and get your major arcana, which happens to be the emperor. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll clarify those cards. Four Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. So let's see, let's see. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Cups. So, hmm. and remember I was saying all because of you. It's like a lot of people felt like you had handouts, but it's actually you. I feel like this is you right in the center. It was you who was making, you're the reason that things have been fruitful in your life. I also feel like you're going to be the type of person who's going to share your abundance with people. It's like she's not just going to have all this harvest for herself. She's going to share it with her friends and family. You do see she has a like a veil on like she's getting married. Some of you guys could be getting engaged this year or you're actually going to get married this year. Some of you guys could also be out celebrating with family and friends and meet someone that you will ultimately end up marrying. They, they do look like they're dressed like they're some type of bachelorette party. Some of you guys are going to a bachelorette party this year. Something about being in other people's celebrations broadens your horizons also you know like like attracts like so even if you don't have anyone in your life just being around people who are in that vibration it's bringing that that harvest in for you also cancer pisces scorpio here with the three of cups mars can be very significant for you as well okay so let's part the deck and shuffle huh. king of wands that's you Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay, so you already had King of Swords. Now you have King of Wands. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you guys put in the work. And that's it, it was your own bright ideas. You got that light bulb right there. Your own bright ideas that created abundance in your life. Absolutely, positively amazing energy. A Leo could be very significant. Or you could have a strong Leo placement in your chart. <clears throat> So again, let's see. You have made a transformation. You got the Ten of Swords. Felt like you were stabbed in the back multiple times, let down. You could have felt like you were at the very end of your rope. So they, I feel like you see how you have all these swords just right all over this this um, skeleton here. It almost gives me the vibe. It, it looks like a Grim Reaper, right? There could have been multiple times where you felt like literally giving up. Because it's like death. You could have felt like giving up. But you knew you had no choice but to keep going. If you notice, it's a hand holding this. So it's like no matter what happened, you knew you couldn't give up because everything was in your hands. Whatever your future, everything was in your hands. And you didn't give up. King of Cups, another goddamn king. So you got three kings here. This is amazing. On the emotional. Doesn't it? I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but it makes me think about Dr. Manhattan. And if you think about Dr. Manhattan, what was the damn... You guys, leave in the comment section below. I can't think about it, what the movie was off the top of this. is definitely giving me Dr. Manhattan vibes. And Dr. Manhattan was able to be in multiple places at once. And he literally was like running the world, if you will, to a degree, single-handedly. And that's what... Single-handedly. Okay? And I feel like for a lot of you all, that's where you are. You were just doing a min like millions of things at once. You had to have your hands in many cups, many, and I'm saying cups because you got cups here, many cups, many pots on the emotional level saying, yeah, this is giving me very much Dr. Manhattan because in that movie, Dr. Manhattan was very emotionless and that's exactly her energy. And if you think about cups, cups is the emotions and feelings. You guys have to be emotionless or that's how you come off to people. And we did have that energy also with the um, King of Swords in the very beginning. So for a lot of you all, you endured many hurts. You put a lot of things to, to bed, to rest. 
you ended a lot of things in your life that was not in alignment with you on an emotional level. For some of you all, you've been through some things that made you feel like you have turned emotionally cold. Like you want to lock away your emotional feelings. You see there's a lid on it. But there's knowledge here. You see how you have the crystals? His, his, the head is a crown of crystals. There's a lot of spiritual knowledge here. Also, some of you guys may need to invest in getting you some clear quartz crystals. I'm getting that vibe also. Obtaining, uh, obtaining knowledge and wisdom. It's like the things that you've been through, you have definitely taken into consideration. And it's helped you evolve. <clears throat> You had a judgment card. And so now you guys are making better decisions. Judgment is reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. Again, you've been through some things. You see how you have the lightning striking here. But coming straight out of the middle of it, it's like that glow of light. So it's like regardless of the of the storms that you've been through, because that's like a storm. It looks like a sandstorm, a storm brewing. Regardless of the storms that you've been through, you're always going to see the light. You're always going to see the light. And you've been divinely protected this whole time. Your angels, your spirit guides, your guardians, they've been with you the whole time here. Expansion and growth. Hmm. So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get the emperor. And there you go again. Look, we started off with the world, uh, with the will of fortune. I'm telling you, look at this. You guys are manifesting major abundance. You have the will of fortune. And then directly behind it, you have the magic. Whoa. Whoa. Are you guys looking at all this, all this shuffling I did? Okay, so you have the will of fortune. The magician, the temperance, and then the high priestess. Are you kidding me? You guys are like on a fucking roll right now. So with the magician, you got Virgo, Gemini, temperance, Sagittarius, and then the high priestess, you have Piscean energy. And I'm going to say again, it's all because of you. I feel like you're going to share your wisdom with people also. This is someone who's wise, someone who's very intuitive. It's like you see yourself as a reflection of others. This almost looks like a mirror, but if you look right here, there's keys. Like you have the keys to success again, and it's in his hands. You've been on a long journey, and you finally come to the end of the road, and it's like the things that you've been through, it's, it's allowing you to be able to help others on their journey because they have to get to the other side also. Balancing and aligning. Balancing and aligning here. Wow. And you did it with grace. Look how agile and graceful she looks. You did a lot of things with grace. You find a different sense of peace right now in your life. This is amazing. You got one, two, three. You have four major iconists here. Five all together. And five in numerology talks about changes. So you guys have major changes. So because we did have some numbers in the beginning, all of those associated with those fives, that four, four, five, three, five, five. Five, five, six, and four, five, six. Those are numbers that you should probably really tap into when you look those um those numbers up. Okay, so again, we are looking for the emperor, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And there you are, right there. So we didn't. It didn't take that long for us to get to that card. So this is something that's coming to your life now. Acknowledgement for the things that you have done, the things that you have accomplished. Okay, you have the emperor right in front of it. You have the um, two of swords. And then you have the Seven of Cups. Behind that, you have the Knight of Coins. You really put in the work. You see, she's really putting in the work. And she's finally hitting her mark here. So with this card, Two of Swords, again, some, some stuff with head over heart decisions. You got the head, you got the heart. She's blindfolded here. Did you see how she has, like, it's almost like she has a sword on her back like a ninja. Some of you guys could have definitely been fighting off matters of the heart, fighting off love, or not really focusing on love because you were focusing on accomplishing goals. There were so many things that you needed to give your time and attention to. I'm going to say again, somebody's getting married or engaged here. Or meeting someone that they would marry. Buying a home. There's a lot of new stuff coming in. You got the keys to a home. This is the second car with keys there. There's keys to a home, and there's a, a couple who looks like they just got finished getting married. You got a bag of money. And if you look at the way she's screaming, she could be singing, but just look at how she's screaming there. It's giving me the vibe that you guys want to be heard. Because she's screaming on that mic. She wants to be heard. The Seven of Cups is illusions, confusions, fill a scatter, but it's also having many options, many things on your plate. So that's why I said earlier on, like, with that Ten of Swords that we've seen, there was a lot of things on your plate. 
And you may have even felt lost at certain points, but you know, there's a sense of alignment. There's a sense of power that came with the things you went through. Because of course, this is an Aries card. You see the, the, the ram horns, but it's on a lion. So this situation has made you much stronger. Whatever you've been through, it's almost like you felt like you were going through the world blindfolded. But you didn't go through the world blindfolded without protection. You see how she has swords on the back. Again, it's giving me the vibe of like a ninja. It was like you went through the world blindfolded. But anything that was coming at you, you were slicing and dicing that shit out of your path. And the things that you've been through has definitely made you stronger. Some of you guys feel like you have been in like some type of sense of imprisonment here. You were in war. Because I want you to see there's You see these police down here? And it looks like riot police, like riot control police. You guys were fighting through some things. A riot, you got to fight. This, this drama is chaos. You've been through some things. Also, some of you all could it, even hear there's sirens. There's police lights. Some of you guys may have felt like, again, you were sub being suppressed. You were being subdued. You were in prison. Because her vision isn't, you know... There's, there's blockages with her vision here because she's blindfolded. So you may have felt like you were just stuck in some sense of imprisonment. Some of you guys are graduating this year also. I'm getting that for sure. Hell, going to school and being in school for a long period of time, that feels like imprisonment for some people. Some of you guys may be on like a, a bachelor's or a master's degree. Or you could be working towards that. Bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Wands specifically sag energy but it because it is a minor this could apply to you also you guys are moving forward towards things really quickly and remember i said fighting nicely they're going into battle coming out of battle a lot of you guys have fought through some things and now it's like the world is your oyster because this is definitely giving me like she she doesn't look displeased she looks actually quite happy you know what people say when you blow these it's like wishes and this is not the nine of cups it's seven of cups but this is like kind of like Again, the world. You see, the world is right over him. It's like the world is your your oyster right now. So let's get clarifiers. Yep, there you go. And did we not start off in this deck? We had the Ten of Swords. Things that were meant to end you. Okay, because Tens talk about endings, finalities. Things that were meant to end you or made you feel like you were tired, you were done, you couldn't give any more. You're using it as a strength. Again, because this is a warrior. This is a knight. This is someone who fights for what it is that they want. You guys have fought me you know, fall through some things. And now you have major advancements in your life because of choices that you made. Again, that Neo song, all because of you. And remember I said Neo is a Libra and you're starting off with a sword card. So something that you may have been putting into place in Libra season of last year, look at that. Libra season may have been difficult also. If you think about Libra, Libra's a scale, it's balance. If you could have been feeling like a, a lack of balance, especially mentally. And again, you can have strong Libra placements in your chart somewhere. Whatever the case, it just seems like things that felt very scattered and all over the place. Now you're you're kind of you're tapped into things. You understand things differently. And I'm just looking at how this is over her shoulder. It's like dusting things off your shoulder. You're not giving certain things energy the way that you used to. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. Ten of swords in reverse. And you keep getting this card. Let me change. I'm telling you, and it was just upright. So there was definitely some things, some endings coming in. The moon things, hidden things, unknown things you don't have clarity about. Piscean energy. Like, you may have felt like you were being submerged and buried underwater, but you're coming to the surface. Reality is hitting you. Again, the moon things, hidden things, unknown things you don't have clarity about. Things that's hidden. You could have felt like literally like you was walking in the dark for the last couple of years or months. But if you notice behind the moon, there's a sun. The sun shines a light on things. So you get, you're getting clarity now. And that's why I said she doesn't look confused or scattered in her mental. She looks like she's she has clarity now. Like the fog is clearing. And there's actually no fog here at all. There's heavy clouds, but they're underneath her. You get what I'm saying? It's not over her head. It's underneath her. So all the things in the past, you, that's going to literally be a thing of the past. You're no longer allowing it to obscure your vision here. That's going to clarify for the two of swords. Clarify for the two of swords. For Aries, Sun, Rise, and Venus. So with the star card reverse, Aquarius energy, um, star card is wish fulfillment and healing. This is major arcana, so it's a definite energy. In reverse, it's saying like, it's some things that you still haven't healed from. I'm going to have to say it has to be with matters of the heart is what I'm getting. Because I want you to notice, I feel like you have more control over your mental. The brain is higher than the heart. So it's like you still need to uh, balance things when it comes to matters of the heart. 
Some of you guys may feel like you're never going to get married. You're never going to meet the one. That's not true. I'm going to tell you that right now. Also, in Aquarius season, you may feel, again, like you're walking in the dark. But, again, you're not walking alone. You have your tools. You have your weapons to help you navigate a situation. Anything that gets in your way, cut that shit off your path. Absolutely, and you will. <laughs> what I say, you're going to be using your tools. You got to page your wants, your energy upright. Absolutely. Brand new starts. Things growing. You see how there's, they're budding those leaves right there? Yeah, things are evolving. And I feel like you're getting ready to see that. That's going to clarify for the Seven of Cups. Okay, the Magician. Again, I feel like some of you guys felt like things were, you were stuck in some type of illusion. Because the Magician is a master of illusions. And reverses is like things that you were trying to manifest. You guys may have been trying to manifest a lot of things at once. And it just looked like it wasn't going in your desired direction. Because it, it wasn't meant for you to focus on so many things. You got to see, yeah, it's like bouncing and aligning. So, again, any outcome that you're enduring right now, this is all choices that are situated, all the decisions you make. Because if you notice, she's here alone. Yeah, there's a riot down there. There's riot police down there. But that's like you could have been policing your decisions. You could have been policing your thoughts. Or you could have been allowing other people to when actually the decision is yours. She's the only one holding these two main, you know, energies here. If you think about her, she's there alone. But I want you to notice this. In both cards... Two, two, there was decisions you had to make and there's a decision that you have to make. But some of you guys, there's a decision that you're going to have to make in Aquarius season that only you are able to make. You can't ask other people. This is all about what you have to do. And again, I know a choice that you have to make because she has something that she, there's multiple things she needs to choose from. They're telling you it's time for you to focus on a specific thing or else it's going to be hard for you to manifest something. Because you have the magician in reverse. Magician of right is able to manifest whatever it is they want. They have the power. You could be burning the candle on on both ends. Be mindful about that. Again, Virgo, um, Virgo Gemini energy here. Be mindful about burning the candle on both ends or else you're going to feel overwhelmed. Because the seven of cups, again, could be illusion, confusion, feeling scattered, feeling overwhelmed because there's so much on your plate. And your Aries and fire signs are typically known for that. Like, fire is action. You guys want to put action into a lot of things. You can be restless. But then that, that can also block your manifesting. You have two major arcanas and they're both in reverse. And because they're in reverse does not mean that you can't manifest or it won't be in alignment. It's just it's in reverse right now because whatever next decision you make is going to affect the outcome. Limit the things that you're putting the, on your plate. Limit the things that you're giving energy and attention to. Because you could be feeling bogged down. You stuff with your home life, your money. If you're married or in a relationship, those are big factors. Also, you could be feeling not heard. But you definitely got transformation here. You got that snake. Snakes are definitely all about transformation. Somebody also could be born in the year of the snake. Some of you guys could also not even realize that there's people in your life who have been snaking you out also. Somebody could be in trouble with the law as well. And I'm not saying you, it could be someone who did something dirty to you. Somebody could have stole money from you. Somebody could have, you know, the magician in, in, in reverse is definitely like, like the worst, literally. This is somebody who is like, they pulled the wool over your eyes. And again, she's blindfolded there. You were caught up in love because it looks like she's in a sense of nostalgia. You know, she's in a sense of this euphoria. She's not really paying attention to everything around her. And see, for a lot of y'all, I do feel like there was a love interest who really did a number. Again, strong Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Whatever the case, the next decisions that you make, the fourth movement is going to be all from your choosing. It's going to be all because of you, just like the Neo song. I feel like you guys are going to make the right decision. You just have to use your tools. Use use the knowledge that you have. Again, source communication and mental, mental, your mental knowledge, your mental agility. You can't think from the heart right now. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's like right now, again, you got head over heart. And it's higher than the other. Be, think analytically right now. Because that's going to help you move forward. When you think from the heart, the heart will always make us do what we feel like is not only just right for us, but others. But sometimes you have to focus on just you. Again, she's here alone. She's here alone. Again, the police up under there is just like opposing forces. Then you got him here alone and she's here alone. So like whatever you do, it's a decision that you have to make for your embitterment is what I'm getting here. Okay? 
So thank you so much, Aries, for watching Queen Air Tarot. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.